you all about the children, right? Yeah. Nah, you don't, give <laughs> you don't give a fuck about the children. Martin, you like the, the children, though. The cheerings. <clears throat> I can like children sometimes. They're all right. You know, you like them. You want to you yeah, look out for them every night. Sometimes they get on your goddamn nerves. They do. Sir. You have some kids hanging out in the neighborhood. They're all sad because they're all best friends. They got the token black kid in there, too, and everything. Well, and they're about, But they're all about to move, right? Right, so, right. So they have, like, one last day of summer, and then they find this crazy-ass alien. They're like, well, you know what? We might be moving, but we can make this like one last momentous day. Yeah. I mean, how many kids at the end of summer or before we all split apart actually finds a little ass E.T.? Uh, the kids in E.T. <laughs> and just about every Spielberg movie from the 80s. <laughs> okay, Martin, just work with me here. We in the, This is the new millennium, man. <laughs> we need that new alien shit, all right? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people looking at this and they're saying, well, it's that old E.T. alien kid friend type shit that I've seen before, but but they're doing it with found footage. Oh, I ain't never seen no family found footage film before, no kids found footage film. Chronicle shit. Some chrono, cr yeah, <laughs> chronicle of the children, man. And let me tell you something. You don't want to see that yeah, shit. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I ain't seen it before and I don't never need to see it again. Uh I don't know how you felt about this movie because I know you have a big soft spot in your heart for E.T. E.T. was the first movie that not only made me cry really hard. I mean, I cried in movies, but I cried hard. And the reason why I cried hard is because E.T. was the first time that I realized my parents cannot help me. My parents cannot always be there for me. My parents actually sometimes can't control the world. And okay. they cannot make it better for me. Okay. When, no, when in E.T., when those men came in, those men came in those suits and took yeah. E.T. away, and he was all, he was all looking like a, 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 a dried piece of shit. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> looked like a turd been left out in the sun. He was uh -huh. all ashy and shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> looked like Tommy's knees. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but when they came and got him, I thought he was dead. And oh, he yeah. zipped that, butt, that, that bag up. Uh -huh. And I looked at my mother, and I said, Mama, is he really dead? Because you know the kids, in the kids' movie, they don't go that far. Right. right. And that shit confused my mama. Now, normally, that's when my mother would turn around and say, Baby, he'll be all right. But my mother looked at me and said, "Baby, I don't know." <laughs> and I, and I, and I, I looked at, I, would look, I turned to the screen. I said, Woo! and then my mother moved the seat over because she's like, "You like my fucking kid, right?" <laughs> you need to tell that boy to be quiet. That's not my son. <laughs> ain't my son. That ain't my little bitch ass son. So, ET. Even when I don't look at it as the same way today, it is there's still nothing that can really hold so itself to, yeah. to ET for me. So, I'm old school ET. If you ain't reaching that level or like even close to it, then I'm not about it. No. So mac and meat, I didn't work for it. <laughs> mac and cheese is all right, but mac and meat can go to hell. <laughs> Come on, you, 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 you gotta admit it, it touched you when they when they redid it as the Iron Giant. But you know I love Iron Giant. Yeah, of yes. course, of course. Well, the point is, is that. They've done it. They've yeah. done it. They, they, they've managed to come in and do E.T. better. So we've seen E.T. We've seen knockoffs of E.T. that were done better. I yeah. even, shouldn't even say knockoff, but say, something of the same theme. When you get to this right here, the problem with this is that it does not capture the emotion of, what, <laughs> of, of any of those other films. No. Now, <laughs> what you have here are these kids who they found an alien. They, some shit you ain't ever seen before. But what do they decide to do? They decide to sit up here and argue about who kissed what girl. It, it was one of these things where it's like they like the movie forgot that it was about an alien. <laughs> He's just off somewhere. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> these kids up here bitching and fighting each other and carrying this fucking shaky cam around, which I must say that it's another found footage movie where these are kids. Okay, somehow these kids have got equipment that Apple has not even re released yet. They, mm -hmm. they got the Apple 9, the Apple iPhone 9. They got 16K cameras out there, and it looks better than any camera that's out there that should, that should be afforded by kids. Yeah, Unless right. these kids like the mafia, and they knocked over a truck or something and took some shit that they shouldn't have. Damn, this brother even look like shit. There's some stolen goods right here. We got to get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> no, not only do you not feel anything, but the movie's just half thought out. It, I mean, that's, that's the thing that came to me over and over through this, because I was like, this feels less like a ripoff of Spielberg and more of a ripoff of Super 8, which is a ripoff of Spielberg. It's it's just that many generations of far. It's like a copy of a copy of a copy. Yeah. The kids, I can't tell if they're good actors. It's just that the, the direction of them is so terrible. And there's so many points it'll bring up and then just drop. Yeah. The, uh, the government guys who come in, if they are government, they don't really even explain it. 
They, like, they really don't. They, they, this no. is some guys who dress up like construction workers, workers and they come in late and they're like, where that alien at? You know, it's that one guy was even frustrated. He, 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 he was frustrated because he couldn't even explain yeah, why exactly. he wanted. He was looking at that. He was looking at one kid, one one government, whatever this guy is, just came in and he said, look, we, we need that alien. All right. And one kid's like, I, I don't understand why you need it so much. You're like, look, God damn it. I just need it. Okay, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <We're nuts. laughs> Who the fuck are you <laughs> questioning me? But, but yeah. And, and the, whole, the whole found footage thing. It's like, man, you're talking about of all the times they've done this and it's been a gimmick that served no purpose, this more than any other time I've seen it. Another thing that they do in these kind of movies that this film did do right. They show, before the alien even shows up, they show kids being kids. Now, not to the level of some movies because they, they, there's some movies, even E.T. didn't sugarcoat how shitty kids can be and how kids curse and right, right. When, the, when the adults aren't around. Kids are assholes. Yeah. And this movie, it didn't really go that far, but it did show that the, the, these kids finding this alien at first. And I was like, man, this is kind of cool right here. It's actually capturing that sense of wonder <clears throat> as if my friends and I had found an alien. There's a part, you're right, early on, they felt more like real kids. And it helps that they have home footage of these kids when they were younger before they even signed on to this project. Ha, that was actually pretty cool it because was. did they I mean I guess when they auditioned them, they said like, hey, you got you got any home movies? There's also a young blonde girl who they, you know, they're are, you know, somewhat attracted to. Well at least you know one of them is somewhere in there. Yeah. She plays that kind of like I'm 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 not quite a, I'm too young to be a love interest, but I'm one of the guys. But you know, one of them has a crush on her, and it's like, wow, man, this is straight taken straight out of uh, Super, uh, 8 Super Eight and yeah. Monster House. I'm really tired of these kids. Now this is this is called Echo, <laughs> right? <laughs> I want to hang with Echo. Echo's an alien. I can I see little 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 shit ass kids every day. Every I don't day. I, you know I don't need to. This this is Echo's movie, man. Uh -huh. I want to see him. But really, when you get down to it, Echo ain't that interesting either. You can get a cricket. And have just as much fun with that than you will with fucking Echo Ray. Because all Echo does is look at people and just go. You know, I got a cat that can do that. Yeah, you know, a, a problem we've been having with, with movies lately is that you have these characters with, with powers. And they have, like, an amazing power. Yet somehow they act like they don't have it till near the end of the movie. They come out with it. And you're going, where was that? Yeah. You know, Godzilla, oh, yeah. uh, uh, Optimus Prime, blah, blah, all these. This little dude. Since the whole movie looking a little, little weak like Clash of Titans Owl, and they're trying to protect him, he's almost dying all this. <laughs> At the end, it turns out he has the power of Magneto. <laughs> and I was like, for real, dude? This whole movie? This, dude, you've been sitting around like you can't do nothing to protect yourself? This and is, you can do that? This is a... <laughs> people in Hollywood, do y'all just not give a fuck anymore y'all write scripts? I mean, really, y'all... Y'all put I hate I hate using this expression, but y'all pull some Deus Ex Machina shit like yeah. that. Where y'all just fucking lazy. I've seen three <laughs> movies this summer alone where they just said it at the end. Oh fuck it, you know what? We gonna have them do some shit that they could have done the whole time. Uh huh. Which I'm not a I'm not a writer. I'm not a script writer. But that ruins your shit. It, it that does. ruins your story when you do that. At the end of the movie, you just say, Optimus Prime can fly. Goddamn Echo had metal he can pull from the ground the whole time. If you're eight years old, you don't give a fuck about spoilers. Really? <laughs> Come on, y'all. I know y'all writing for eight years old, but even that, like, I ain't that fucking stupid. No. Like, the thing is, this movie is super cheap. Like I said, it's, it's like a Spielberg movie made like somebody's home movie and, and by that I mean like most of it, like a home movie and the rest of it effects wise looks like those videos you see on YouTube where, yeah. where somebody's like hey we, our fix house look what we're able to pull off and you're like okay well bravo for YouTube yeah on the big screen it's like man that shit looks cheap yeah and you saved all your money to do that that, that whole Magneto disassemble the, the semi truck and then put it back together and it's like um, you know what? You probably shouldn't even wasted the money on that. I don't think this is anything worth going out to see. I, 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 I got as far as a found footage goes. I don't stop. I would love to see a family found footage film. Somebody attempt to pull that off. I always like to see how found footage would actually be applied to different genres, but they didn't do it here. The most excitement I got out of the found footage here, out of all this found footage they did, there was only one time I jumped. They were jumping a fence, and there was a dog that said, oh! oh, yeah. And that was like, for a moment, I was like, shit, okay, all right, yeah, all right. I right. remember being a kid, how much, remember how much neighborhood dogs would terrorize you when you were a kid? Oh, yeah. Like, they could just pop out of anywhere. Yeah, yeah why don't they make that movie about that <laughs> asshole dog? Anyway, <laughs> rental, people. Straight up the rental. It, this is more like an eight year old's movie. And honestly, uh, I, I, I might say Redbox, but I'm more like YouTube. <laughs>
Okay. I, I, I mean, I really, I really went in ready to give it a chance, and just by the end, I was like, man, you burned up every goodwill piece of goodwill I had for you. Oh, Martin, oh, oh, Martin, you were so upset with this movie. I mean, right I wasn't now. even, I wasn't even. I don't know. I wasn't <clears throat> mad. It wasn't like Transformers, where it's like it won't go off. That's a whole other level of hell. It is. It is. It is. It is. <laughs>